lucky you, you tuned in to one of my biggest secrets. And I'm giving it away to you today. It's how I catch pinfish. That's a piece for this. Yes. Pinfish. or pretty much anything that'll hit a sabiki. You guys all use these, right? The Berkeley Gulp Alives. Sometimes you use the shrimp. They're that soft plastic bait. Real stinky. <laughs> Tastes bad. And you know what happens to them? Eventually you run into a puffer fish or something ridiculous. It's hard too. Not real sharp, but hard like a molar that steals the tail or they get shredded up by ladyfish and they're no longer fishable. They won't stay on that jig head. Well, here's what I do. I turn them into nubbins. I turn them into lots and lots of teeny tiny bits of bait. And instead of using squid or instead of using shrimp, this is what I tip my sabikis with to bring up pinfish and grunts, mow, Ma Ma Mahara, Mahara. <laughs> I still don't know the name of that bait. Uh, pretty much anything that'll hit a sabiki, if it's sweetened up with this little teeny tiny piece of gulp alive, you guys, this is one of the best fishing tri tips I'm ever gonna give you because it is so sweet. No more stinky boat hands, no more stinky squid hands, no more stinky shrimp hands, no more getting robbed over and over and over. This stuff stays on the hook like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna show you right now, check it out. So after each visit out there, and I'm, and I'm fishing gulp alive, and I'm either having success, well you know you're having success because you're getting, you're getting your bait torn up. Well if your bait's getting torn up, eventually it's gonna go down to the point where it's no more, it's no longer fishable. When that happens, I take a pair of scissors and I just cut these baits into little strips that fit right on my sabiki hook. Now here's another big tip, okay? Sabikis usually come in six hooks. I like to cut them down to two and three. A couple of reasons. A, it cuts my sabiki budget down and B, the fish won't get wrapped up as much in them. If you get down to one hook, it's kind of a pain because nobody really likes fishing with one hook. It doesn't seem to be as effective. Uh, but, but watch, watch this carefully, okay? Thread that little piece of gulp alive bait onto your sabiki hook. Make sure you keep your gulp alive baits nice and uh, wet because if they dry out, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna work as effectively, that's for sure. Oh, I got a little knot in this sabiki hook. I have to untie it. Which is okay because you're talking to one of the best knot guys in the business. Not just tying knots, but untangling knots. You guys ever get into those moments where you're untangling a knot and you're looking at it like, I should just cut this thing. And then you say to yourself, no, I'm gonna untangle it. That's all I did over the years and now I'm really good at untangling knots. And you have to be when you take kids fishing, am I right? My favorite is, Captain Eric, I'm tangled. <laughs> I know, be right there. We'll get it going. Okie dokie, let's see just how effective my method is today. So you see, I got the bell weight on the bottom. I got my sabiki that I trimmed down to just two hooks. And we're gonna see if there's any pinfish out there for us today. Pinfish sometimes sell upwards of a dollar a, 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 a fish. I've seen them regularly at 75 cents, but after some of that red tide stuff happened, I was seeing them about upwards of a dollar a fish. That's expensive bait. Uh, let's see how many we can do here, just in this short amount of time. Because when the pinfish are there, they will bite. Now here's the technique I like using for these guys. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. And then I like to get five, six, seven real quick spins out, spin outs, and then let it fall back down. And if you if there's pinfish there, they'll start bumping it. It doesn't take long for the pinfish to bump it, frankly. I can 
get some action on this lizard fish I got tied up. Keep that line tight. You guys know that rule. Tight, tight line. It's all about giving it some action to bring in a fish that may want to eat that. Okay, nothing there. So let's try another spot. Just missed one. Had a little tippy tap. Oh, got him that time. Got him that time. Got to be a pinfish. Only pinfish fight like this. Nice pinfish. Snook candy. Got one. This works like a charm, you guys. This is the best, easiest. See how I still have the bait? Every time. I'll have that bait every time. And I'll pull up pinfish this size all the way up to grunts that are, you know, I gave you a big tip. I hope you paid attention. This one's going in the bait bucket. Grouper candy, snook candy. Oh man, it's, it's good stuff. If you like fishing small lizard fish, they'll hit this thing too, coming through those grass flats. Uh, I picked up catfish, lizard fish, lady fish. This is a great bait getter, you guys. I already got, whoa. <laughs> I already have two of those, so don't need that one. <laughs> he got the memo. <laughs> of course, my favorite thing to do is once you get that first bait, put it on a big hook, send it out while you're sitting here bait fishing. If you're trying to get 10, 20 bait, maybe you're going to the beach or a jetty or something, put one on, you never know. You might make a great story. Oh, baby. This is the stuff that big fish are made out of. You see that? I've only been here three minutes. I'm into two fish already. And if we do this right, we're gonna have our hook back. Oh, he got my bait. It's a good thing I have all those gulp alive still cut up. Oh, baby, I'm gonna throw him on right now. Not chumming, not doing anything, but throwing a cut up sabiki into twos with pieces of teeny tiny bits of gulp alive, whatever your favorite color. Just keep it moist, put it in a Ziploc. You know, just uh, don't let them dry out because that's what the pinfish are after is that scent. Sight, scent, sound. Scent is a big one for pinfish. Pinfish have a tendency to swallow hooks. So don't give them that chance because you're fishing with small little gold hooks usually on those sabikis. Don't even give them that chance. Pop that thing, uh, keep it moving and pop it. You feel that first bite, pop it. Uh, give it a real quick wrist twitch. You see that? Bang! Like that. That's gonna. That's what that's gonna do is set that hook in its lip, and it's gonna be way easier to remove out of that pinfish. And also, you'll be able to keep them alive, uh, and you'll keep your sabiki going, so you can get a few more bait. However many bait, more bait you need. Anywhere I'm going fishing, I make sure I bring one of my poles as a dedicated bait pole with this method. How did it work for you? Leave me a comment. Fish like us, we make stories. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Chief Mate Janelle. I'm Captain Eric. And we're Fish Like Us. If you like this video, please leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, or share this video. Please subscribe, help us grow, because we're going places, and Fish Mac's coming. <laughs>